chat is a feature within the workspace. And through agent chat, the communication between the requesters, employees, like employees, customers, so they create incidents, cases, and get the help that they need. So it's an easier to relevant information associated to be in a chat and increase efficiency to create and update records such as cases, instance, and request. Live agent is not a product. It is just a terminology used for agent chat because in most of the customer calls, uh, I hear people often get confused using live agent and then they ask me, what is agent chat? So agent chat is the actual product. Live agent is just the terminology. Now, what is agent workspace? So agent workspace is in a, like we have in a workspace product where it has multiple modules. Out of those modules, inbox is, in, is, used, inbox is used for agents, agents where tons of resources and tools are provided to the agent so that they can have in a successful interaction with the end user by providing the best help and best information. We don't own workspace from conversational interface team. We own only advanced work assignment inbox and agent chat panel. So when I say agent chat panel, this panel, which you're seeing here, active agent, this is agent chat panel and inbox panel, this inbox. Along with that, we also uh, own this entire UI. So examples like ITSM agents, they'll be track and resolve IT issues through this agent workspace. CSM agents, they resolve customers, customer cases through these agents. And other than that, any other guest or any other user has any issues, they'll be interacting with the agents through this uh, agent uh, chat panel in agent workspace. I want to show some of the existing features and how these features works. So where do we find agents presence? In our left navigation, uh, after the navigation in the inbox panel, we have status where it will show what are the status that we have uh, provided in the admin settings. It will show up in the order that we have given, like available away offline. If, if customers wants to add any other status, they can very well make changes in the admin settings and bring, bring that one to show up here. Chat conversation window. So this is a window where the real conversation happens between the agent and the end user. So when you see here, so the light green one uh, text is from end user and the white color text that's coming from Beth, it's like she is the real agent. And where do we find chat status? So to find the chat status here, it shows active chat. So you, and some of the useful quick actions at the end of the chat, uh, uh, chat panel. So we have added some uh, some quick actions, like for example, any quick actions that can start with slash, like you need some help to connect to agents. So you slash help, you're requesting and help from your agents or from your managers. And let's say agent want to send some response templates, predefined response templates, which we have, which they have created based on a common uh, common topic. So they can they can provide slash R as a quick action to get all the response templates to show and they can choose. I will be doing demo on response templates as well. So a part of that one, there is an autopilot appointment, uh, short TA and DQ. So TA is like transfer to agent and transfer to queue. And for autopilot slash autopilot, we'll be doing demo in advanced topics. Uh, it's an interesting topic when agent is busy, they use autopilot to hand over some set of common questions so that customer can provide the responses. During that time, agent can focus on something, uh, some other task. And once 
the end user provides all the information, the autopilot bring it back and hand over to the agent and agents take over from there and start getting into the next steps with the end user. So transfer to queue, let's say the end user's interaction came into a general queue and agent felt that she's not the right person for that particular topic to take care. There is another queue which has another set of agents who are expert. So through her agent chat window, she can transfer to another queue so that the interaction goes to another queue based on the assignment rules. It will find the right agent and make the end user to interact with the right agent. Transfer to agents. So transfer to agents, let's say Beth has some complexity to understand the request, uh, what end user is asking, <clears throat> and she needs some help from another agent. So she can also look who are the other agents who are available that she can bring into this conversation so that they can help write in, they can help with the right information to the end user. Dynamic translation. Uh, here, here is a dynamic transla uh, translation. When you click on this, you can select whether you want to uh, interact with end user who speaks different language. Attachments, let's say you want to send in a picture or any document or any file, agents can click on attachments and send those attachments to this agent uh, window to end users. Search results, let's say agents wants to search something, maybe a knowledge article or any useful document. So they can search those documents and uh, paste those information into the chat so that they can send it to end user to take a look at. Let's say change password. Here is a document. Please follow the steps to change your password kind of thing. Now coming to the interaction. So whenever a chat is active, the interactions task uh, is being updated. If you see here, state work in progress. Let's say if the agent ends this conversation, then the status changes to uh, chat completed. It also sh shows assigned to Beth, uh, Beth and what, what type of interaction is this? This is chat. And then if there is an account information or contact information or consumer information, whichever based on the configuration settings, the information that we want to collect from the end user, all those informations will be showed up here. This also helps the agents when they are using uh, wrap up time to provide all the informations. Let's say if they have created a case task for agent, they can add those informations before ending the chat, create as in a work note for other agents to look into that information as in a history. Now, what plugins do we need for agent chat? So agent chat plugin, uh, it's a glide.interaction.awa. AWA, when you activate agent chat plugin, it will automatically activate AWA and agent workspace. 